Well, I'm really excited to have someone I've um, looked up to for a while in the studio with me today, and that is Pastor Johnny Morrison. How are you, Johnny? I'm going well, thanks, Kent. Excellent. Now, you used to live around here in the Sydney region, but you've gone like back to your sort of your home country out there in North Queensland. Is that right? Yes. Um, yeah, I've been in Sydney for 10 years mm -hmm. previously, and uh, this year I got a call to minister in Cairns, mm -hmm. uh, Mossman yep. and Weeper. Yeah, well, yeah. now, bef even before you went up there, you started working on this project, which I think is, is still happening, mm -hmm. and that's the Sacred Messages Down Under uh, video series. Yes. Right. Um, how's that going? Oh, excellent. Um, yeah, a 10 episode series. Mm -hmm. um, the audience was initially uh, for Indigenous people, mm -hmm. and we had that in background Australiana themes, mm -hmm. um, Aboriginal cultural themes. Yeah, and it's connected with a lot of Indigenous people. At the moment, we've got nine uh, episodes out, mm -hmm. ready uh, to use and to, uh, and to buy. And uh, number 10 is uh, being edited right now and should be finished in a, okay. yeah, in a couple of I, months. I have actually seen the first episode, which is um, the, I guess, you, you sort of paint yourself, well, you don't paint, you really are a horse whisperer. Is that the... I know uh, about sorry, a horse whisperer. I, I, I know training horses is a very political thing, so I don't want to use the wrong language and have you punch me or something, but um, but you decide to use a more gentle sort of style of breaking in a horse, as mm. people say, to like to train it, to take a saddle and, and everything. Um, how, is that something you've done many times before? To be honest, I haven't really done it that often. Yeah. Uh, I've broken a few horses in, and I don't know, I just kind of have a little bit of a gift for it. Mm -hmm. But I've watched a lot of my uncles, my dad, um, break them in and um, interact with them. And so I just learnt from watching. I've got a lot of good mates who are horsemen as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't definitely call myself a horse whisperer, but, def <laughs> but definitely a horseman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, the style of, of training you used is more of a gentle sort of relational style rather than a, a dominant mm -hmm. sort of style, isn't it? And that's, I guess, some of the mm. um, politics that comes with, you know, with horsemanship. He's, you chose that gentle style, why? Um, number one, I think I've just got the hands for it. Mm -hmm. um, and it is the better um, way to get better response from your horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that one because uh, you're building up trust mm -hmm. and, um, and they're more responsive. Yeah. yeah. So you, you there like training this horse on camera and everything, but you used, you used that as a sort of a metaphor to understand, um, I guess, something about us and God. Was, it, was that where you were heading? Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, the, the analogy was that this horse um, that was unbroken, mm -hmm. um, living a life all by herself with her other uh, ponies in the scrub. Mm -hmm. And so we go and grab this horse, start to uh, win her over with trust and um, talking to her nicely and um, day by day handling. Yeah, and so basically I knew this horse was afraid of me mm. and that with a bit of time, and and um, and care and um, building up that trust that she'll eventually wouldn't distrust me that she'd become my friend. Mm, mm. So that episode we titled "Afraid or a Friend." Okay. Yeah. So in regards to I guess the way God connects with us, are you are you suggesting that God uses a a similar gentle approach? Because I guess a lot of people have an idea of an angry God, a God mm. who's going to punish you, the the God with the stick, you know, mm. the God with the riding crop and the yeah. spurs. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the message we're trying to get across, that that is definitely um, who, what God is like. Mm. Yeah, he's definitely taken the more uh, gentle approach. Um, I think there are times when he's going to have to use discipline on <laughs> yeah, us who, sure. are, who are really disobedient. But those whom I love are disciplined. Isn't that what the Bible that's says? That's right. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we wanted to bring that metaphor across to say that's exactly what God is like. Mm. Uh, he's not someone to be afraid of. He's someone to be a friend of. Yeah. And even when Judas betrayed Jesus, he said, friend, do what you've come to do. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So. Now, I noticed that another episode that's, that is, is called Boomerang Man. Yep. And you, you connect Jesus. Are you calling Jesus the Boomerang Man? Or what's, what's going on with that? The episode starts off um, uh, with uh, me throwing a boomerang. We're out at Uluru oh, yeah. uh, filming this one. And so throw a boomerang and it um, comes back to me. Oh, there you go. Um, I catch it. It's always nice when that happens on camera, when it yeah. actually comes back. <laughs> that's right. It doesn't come back to you, it's just a stick. <laughs> that's right. So I catch this boomerang, and um, yeah, and I just uh, say that this boomerang is like Jesus. Uh, as this boomerang uh, came back and returned to me, Jesus is the returning boomerang man. He's coming to take us back okay. home to be with him forever. And people are just loving 
yeah. lo loving the analogies, you know, of Aboriginal culture and of uh, of the outback, yeah, stop and, and stuff like that, you yeah. know. What's, what, what does that say about people? Because, I mean, a, a lot of Christian television, you know, I mean, let's face it, you know, is, is like this, you know, mm. sitting in nice, pristine studios with, you know, suits on and, and that sort of stuff. But you seem to have really connected with people in a, in, in a different way. What mm. sort of responses are you getting? Well, I was in Mossman the other day and I mm -hmm. uh, lent out yeah, Boomerang that, that's, Man. That's real Mossman in North Queensland, not Mossman yeah, in Sydney. Yeah, no Mossman Sydney. <laughs> Mossman, North Queensland. And I uh, gave it to a family that I'm actually related to. Mm -hmm. And they said, I really, really like the cultural aspects that you're bringing through mm. to tell us the story about God's love mm. and about God's plan for our life. Mm. And so they're connecting with it. And so, I mean, obviously the primary audience was Indigenous, but it's just gone bigger and people all over mm. the world are watching it and uh, and loving it. Oh, really? And, uh, and so non-Indigenous are, are buying them as well, yeah. buying the series and, yeah, connecting with it, loving it because who doesn't love a story? Yeah. Do you, th do you think, I mean, uh, I guess Christianity in some ways, we could say it came on a boat, you know, with, with a couple of Church of England chaplains. And for some Australians, it's maybe still seen as a, a foreign religion and not, not an Australian spirituality. Mm. Do you think it's important? that Australians sort of own the Bible and own spirituality and Christianity for themselves? Oh, definitely. Um, Aboriginal people are already spiritual people, you know. Sure, yeah. So when Jimmy Cook came and, uh, <laughs> and, and all his crew, um, they didn't bring God to the shores, you know. God was already here yeah. in, um, in our culture, um, in our belief system. Uh, there are a lot of Aboriginal people who, um, you know, against Christianity, they see it as a white man's religion mm. but then there are those who a, a, a colonial artifact yeah. essentially yeah and so they see the truth in christianity mm. see the truth of god's word uh the truth in jesus and knowing that he's coming back again so there are a lot of those uh, a lot of our people who still wor still worship him love him mm. and there are some who lost their way and and this series is a good thing just to reintroduce into families and to get them back to the study of the word and having family mm. worship together just watching the DVD or whatever yeah. and having a yarn about it afterwards and what they liked and what they got out of it. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. So it's, it's working in, in, in that regard. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really good to hear. And Okay, so if you're interested in getting hold of that series, um, the, the website is the um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Ministries Department of the Adventist Church. Yep, at sim.org. At sim.org. Well, that, that was easy. So check that out. Mm, and there um, are resources. Yeah, there's some resources there and all the episodes are listed. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it, Johnny. No worries, Kent. We'll see you after the break.